All right. So she was just peeing. I saw the lady across the street. That's pressure. She's got it. So the lady way across the street. I called her. She kept running. She goes up to the lady with the dog on leash. And I got over there. And I got her collar. And I sat her up. I put the leash on her. The lady goes, oh, it's okay. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's not okay for off-leash dogs to go up to on-leash dogs that are 100 feet away. That gets 100% correction. Right? So she got the correction. This doesn't mean nothing. That's probably the second time she looks. Good. Right? She gets correction over there. There's leash pressure almost the whole way back over here. You get over here, and then now it's over, right? She got the least the least pressure sit down, right? The only way you're going to make your dogs not go up to other dogs, one, is e-collar. Two, is long line all the time. Three, is once you get to off-leash, if you're doing off-leash, she's very trustworthy. She hasn't been here for a couple of days. You've got to correct that shit. Hey, what's up, buddy? So now she's just right there. And when she, so when, also when she's running up to dogs, she's barking. Now she was, so she blew off a recall from 10 feet away for a dog that's 120 feet away. Right? Hey. Ginger, let's go. There you go. Right. So I gave her a minute after the pun after the punishment to settle down. Right. Now we're gonna get to work. Ready? Get. It. <laughs> Bullshit. Ginger, come. Let's see where she goes. Good girl. Ready? Get it. Ginger, come. Right here. Good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold her right here to make sure we got people coming. I'm going to make sure she can't go. I don't think she would go, but to make sure. Hey, how you guys doing? But to make sure she doesn't go, you're either going to put her on the leash or stick your finger right there. No big deal. You're not creating pressure in these moments. It's just in case she tries to leave and go. Your finger's on the collar. She can't go. All right. Ready? Get it. I was 90% sure she wasn't going to leave that position. Now, you could. Some people sit there and force feed. She's already coming. <laughs> Good girl. Ready? Get it. Oh. Now we go to the other side. Ginger, side. All right. So first stages, you're going to go one out, one back. She doesn't need it. I just wanted to show you. And then two or three right here. Make sure they swallow. Ready? Get it. Ginger, side. Then it becomes you're just doing the lure. Good. I should have marked before I started feeding. But I don't know, whatever. Get it. I usually do three of each. Ginger, side. And then it gets to where you don't need anything but reward. Good. So it starts off with the food. Then it goes to the lure, then it goes to the reward. The reason you throw the food back is because you want them coming all the way back initially. All right, ready? Get it. It's a fun one. Ginger front. It's a hand target. Good. Feed. Ready? Get it. Ginger front. Good. Feed. Right? Um. So the reason I say, even though I'm outside, every time I'm saying get it, <clears throat> is because if you're doing this inside, you make it a habit, right? If you're playing this game inside where it's not this hot, ready? Get it. Uh, you don't want them just getting stuff off the ground. Ginger, middle. Good. Feed. Ready? Get it. Ginger, middle. Right? She saw that food. Oh, here's the other thing. You're initially going to go, ready, get it. You're initially going to do it when she picks her head up. 
and comes this way. Ginger, heel, right? And then it works to where you get it when they're not facing that way. So this is a moving heel. I usually do, I usually do a stationary heel. Come on, good girl. Right, I usually do a stationary heel and a moving heel. So it's usually three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 things, right? Ready? Yeah, good girl. And down. You see from the punishment? Right? Remember the punishment? There's no bad re repercussions. Ginger front. I did my hand motion too soon. That's ugly. Let me fix it. Good. Yes! I'm going to give her a little play, even though that's already play. Yeah, <laughs> good. Good. We want a little interactive play now, right? Interactive is with me. Even though the food games is with me, this is, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, good. Good girl. Ready? Drop it. Good. Ah, it's my left-handed girly throw. We're gonna let her go over there, get some water, hang out in the shade, go for a walk. She's done. Ooh.